Hello, Charlene here. Are you tired of chasing your clients on LinkedIn? I know the feeling. I'm tired of it too. And the worst feeling I get actually is this fear of missing out. And that if I'm not there, then I could be missing something. So today I'm going to help you find clients so you don't have to chase them anymore. And this is day three of the challenge so you don't have to worry about missing out because they're going to start reaching out to you so let's get started hello i am charlene tessier and i help business coaches uh, find uh, and get leads on linkedin and after two years of chasing my client on linkedin i discovered that i didn't need thousands of followers hundreds of comments or posting endlessly every day. In fact, I was able to figure out the secret that turned it around for my online business. And in this challenge, I'm going to share that with you. Now, this is a free five day challenge. Find me clients on LinkedIn. I know it's already started, but that's okay. You can still join. Up above, you can grab the link and you will also receive all the past days, action items, and replays. So join along and start attracting clients today. And as I mentioned, there's going to be an extra bonus. Now, if you're falling behind or if you're just joining us today and you're like, I'm not going to catch up, I'm not going to finish by Friday, I don't want you to fret because you know what? I am that person who joins a challenge and I do nothing on day one, day two, day three, day four. And on the fifth day, when it's essentially finished, I spend the whole day and get it all done. That's just me. I tend to work that way. And some of you might be that way as well, or you might want to do it on the weekend. So I'm actually going to give you till the weekend and Monday to finish this challenge. Why? Because there's an extra bonus. I'm going to be offering a free masterclass only to those who are signed up on the challenge. It will not be live streamed. So if you want to attend the masterclass and get those details, then please make sure you sign up above. In addition, in that masterclass, I'm going to announce the winner to those who whoever has commented and engaged the most during uh, this challenge. Uh, your name will be in a draw and you have a chance to win my $497 Get Me Clients workshop, intimate workshop with just 10 people. And this masterclass isn't just fluff. It's called Get Leads on Autopilot. And essentially, it's the next step after this challenge that's going to get you more leads on LinkedIn. And whoever completes the challenge and puts in the comments on Friday, on the weekend, or on Monday, on the last day of the challenge, you put your LinkedIn URL with your updated headline. I will review it live um, on uh, the call, I, depending how many I have, probably can't do all of them, but I will pick a few and do them with whoever's there on the call live so you get personal feedback and we can have a conversation and do a real live case study. So that bonus is, is coming up. You have to sign up to get the, de the details. I won't be giving it out on the live stream. Well, let's do a quick recap now. On day one, what did we learn? We learned that the riches are in the niches, and that's about getting as super specific as you can about who your audience is and who they might be on LinkedIn. The more specific and detailed you can figure that out to be, the easier it will be to attract them. On day two, we then identified who we knew, and now we're thinking about what's their big problem. And I shared with you three practical ways that you can actually find out sort of their problem language or the challenges or the questions that I have. And we can use that to understand what is their really big problem here. And if you miss any of that, like I said, you can get the information by signing up for the challenge and you will receive the replay and the past action items and how to do it. So today, oh, one more thing is that we're not focusing on your solution, your product, your service, or how you solve it for them. Not yet. Don't worry. You're going to get there. So first, we're focusing all on who it is you're going to help, how, uh, what their big, big problem is, not how you're going to help them, but what's their big, big problem. And then today, we have covered the first three steps. 
Uh, so the three steps to creating a client attraction LinkedIn headline that's going to get clients to start reaching out to you, messaging you so that you don't have to chase them anymore. You're going to do these three steps. We did get really specific about your niche on LinkedIn. Two, identify your client's big problems. And today, the third part, and you're going to see how we're going to put it all together in day four. So day three is about what outcome you help your client achieve. It's not about that you have a course or or that you have a service or how you deliver it to them. It's about the outcome, the win. If after they did your program, did your coaching, did your one-on-one, whatever they did with you, they have something. What is it? What's the win that they get? The big win for them. And I'm going to give you a little tip that win and the problem should kind of go hand in hand, right? So this is a little bit hard to understand. So let's do a case study example. So this is an example for a book writing author coach. So this is a coach who helps generally um, online entrepreneurs, business coaches, uh, um, nonfiction, people who want to write nonfiction business book about their expertise of some kind. And they, um, they coach them to essentially be able to not only write the book, but how to market, publish the book, and possibly a few other outcomes. So we're going to help our book writing coach essentially put together their headline today. Now, they have identified the first step to get really specific about their niche on LinkedIn. And I've identified that as digital nomad online entrepreneurs. So you'll notice that they're not just any kind of online entrepreneur. They are a digital nomad who happens to work and travel at least six months of the year. This coach could even get a little more specific and maybe they focus on um, the um tech industry of a digital nomad so it's a tech person who's um working and traveling six months of the year okay at least so that's essentially getting really specific second we want to clarify what their big problem they obviously want to write a book but they want to get on more stages and, and essentially get the word out get more publicity get people to know more about their book. They could have a goal of maybe being top 20 uh, on self-published book of Amazon or whatever kind of goal that they want to have. But essentially uh, their big problem is they don't know how to write a book and they don't know how to get on um, more stages. This is their big problem. And the outcome, I'm sorry, I'm, I got a bit mixed up and jumped ahead there. But so the problem is they don't know how to write a book and they don't know how to get on more stages. And the solution, which is not your solution of your course or your whatever uh, product that you serve, but the outcome that they're going to get after working with this book coach is they're going to have a research and writing system to create the right book for, you know, that's going to be really marketable paired with my get more paid speaking kids marketing system. So they're going to get a marketing system that focus on getting the more paid gigs, right? So it's very specific. And you can kind of see there, yes, we implied that their product or service is the get more paid speaking gigs marketing system. Maybe yours doesn't have a name, but essentially you're giving something, not just a book or a course or some information, you're giving an outcome. And the outcome is they're going to get more paid gigs and they're going to have a know how to write quickly and research and build the book that they're, they really want to write. So now that you got an example, it's your turn to do it. Post in the comments below what is the outcome that you can get for your client, the ideal client we identify on day one. Really focus on the win. What are they going to achieve after doing all of this with you? Focus on the win. Now, as I said, there is a prizes for those who comment. You'll be entered in a draw. Every time you comment, that's one draw entry. And there is opportunity to win my $497 workshop with just 10 participants. It's a really small group. And it's 
uh, get more clients on LinkedIn, and we're going to finish getting this foundation set for you. So we'll be doing some of this work, but more, and it's done in half day. And at the end, you'll have your LinkedIn foundation so that you can get clients right away. And that's all for today. Let's see if you've got any comments. And I'm going to just answer a few questions and stop the share here. There we go. Hi, Vicky. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here with me live. Um, and you said you just changed your headline and would love some feedback. It's great. I will be doing that more towards the end when we're putting all the three pieces together. Right now, today, though, just focus on the outcome and the win. And tomorrow, we'll talk about putting it together in day four. Um, the coach and you, uh, oh, okay, you posted something here. The coach for the confused, overwhelmed, and just plain frustrated. Design your future. And see, at the end there, you have design your future with clarity, confidence, and joy. I think you can get a bit more specific on the outcome, what they're going to really get. Uh, and you're going to see uh, how we can maybe work in the problem, which uh, for you, for your client is they're confused, overwhelmed, and plain frustrated. And you're identified your client as the coach, which again, I would like you to see if you can get a bit more specific. It may not fit in the 72 characters, which we'll talk about a little bit later, but have it down for yourself, uh, at least um, on the side so that you know, you know who it is. So is it sales coaches, book coaches, what, which coach? Because uh, coaches are very general and that's going to be very difficult. And you may want to maybe even target by geogra geography. So by Canadian coaches, I don't know. So you can give, um, give a bit more there. Um, and you tried to include the problem in a bit of the result. Yes, I see that. And then at the end, you have a uh, call me. I'm going to give you a little bonus tip in that um, generally when people are first discovering you, discovering your headline, it's like the meeting when you went to meetups and you went to networking and you said, hi, here's my name. Hello. And you would shake their hand, tell them a little bit about you. And um, there were some people who were kind of pushy you and insist on you taking your business card and whatnot. And to let's book a call. Let's chat some more. And you just met this person. And so generally the answer would be like, you're just going to be polite and say, okay, I'll take it, but you just throw it away. And that's kind of the same thing. Your headline's really your first impression in that meeting. And it takes several impressions before you can actually ask for a call. So I wouldn't put the call me. It is, it comes across a little bit um, that, uh, that you, you don't want to make a real, you don't want to, get to know them enough yet or build a relationship you can do a call me more in an email or a direct message that's to them but i wouldn't do that especially in the headline or in the banner um i really do soft sell and i'll explain more about that also in the master class and that's how you essentially start building that relationship so that you have the right leads in your inbox and convert more you're welcome uh, I wouldn't say uh, you're very welcome for uh, my uh, suggestions there. And I wouldn't say it's pushy. It's just think about if you're on the receiving end of that, right? When you go to those meetings, you shake the hand and you have that person who kind of gives the card and you don't really know the person at all. You want to get you what you could do is ask them to follow you because on LinkedIn, that's a really soft ask. And that's not and that's something that they control. So to follow you. I can't can make them follow me. I can't make them follow you. They just decide on their own if they want to do that. And so, or uh, you could say, discover more about me on my LinkedIn page. But I mean, that's obvious on LinkedIn. So I would say if you really want to put some kind of call to action, a follow me is a nice soft one. Uh, it at least gives them the control to say, yeah, I want to follow you. I want to actually get more of your content, learn more about you. And they have the opportunity to click that follow button and also to stop following you too. I see my follows go up and down. It's kind of fluctuates a little bit. So, um, and that's okay, to be honest, because really the people I want following me, just like the people on my list, are the people who are really interested in what I do and my service and my offerings. And I don't want people who are not. Um, so having less is really more because you'll do much better on the conversion side. Yes, you're welcome, Vicky. That is an easy uh, call to action there with the follow me. 
Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. So whoever else has questions, drop them in the comments today. You can still catch up. Don't feel like you can't. Bonus class on Tuesday and all the details coming in the email today um, about that bonus class as well as the action item for today. Well, till tomorrow, see you next time.